So we're just about ready for painting. This epoxy here is not 100% dry. I was hoping it would be dry this morning, but it's not quite. So I can't do any painting just now. But what I can do instead is scribe the waterline. So I got Lazy Boy out here again. He's done a lot of good work. And uh, we're going to project the, the uh, laser against it and make sure that it matches up to where the measurements of the waterline are. And uh, put a bit of tape on there so we can paint it. Here is the waterline and I have just uh, measured on the plans from various points down to the waterline what the distance is. So hopefully I should be able to transfer that and make sure you know it's level. The measurement at the transom 720 millimeters from the very tip here at the bottom. Look at the laser transferring that line around the corner here so I can mark it. Well, there she is. All cleaned down, vacuumed, dusted, wiped. All the epoxy residue is off. And she is ready for the first coat of paint. I can't even really believe this. It's been such a long time coming. All of a sudden, sometime last week, I was just like, oh. I don't think there's anything really left. The next step is to mask out the rub rails because I don't want to paint those with a bit of tape. Start painting. I've got my snappy boiler suit on so I don't get paint on myself. But yeah, holy shit. The 13th of July, 2020. I started the boat May-ish, 2017. Hello. So, for some reason or another, I decided to build a boat. This boat. <clears throat> this is the beginning of a lot of expensive stuff that I'll need to buy. So join me as I spend six months, hopefully, torturing myself with wood and annoying my neighbors with noise and just generally trying not to go crazy. So just over three years and we're up to the finishing touches. The only thing that remains after this, you know, is to get all the coats of paint on uh, and then remount all the fittings, and then get the boat on the trailer. The trailer is not yet in my possession. I ordered it a few months ago. They said mid-July, which is now. I have to put it together though, which I didn't realize when I bought it. I thought I'd just drive to the place and, you know, hitch it on the car and go home, but no, it comes in five boxes apparently. So that'll be fun. That's, that's just a good day's work though, I think. So I guess I'm just procrastinating. Not really, it's just, can't even believe it. Let's have a look at her another time, just before we put the paint on. Even though she's gonna be way prettier with the paint, but let's just look at all the imperfections and drawing marks, shall we? <laughs> this boat is literally my baby. Not this side, mate. Not sure what I meant by that. Soon you're gonna be the prettiest girl of the dance. Oh well, let's get going. Now I want to keep these uh, rob rails nice and jarrah coloured, so just mask them off. Time to paint. Mask out the handles for all the hatches here as well because I can't take them off and paint underneath. They're already epoxied in, so. And we've got our paints here. This is the one we'll be using today, the primer sealer and undercoat. So we'll just get that undercoat on everything. And then later we have the high gloss white, and then we have our snorkel C as well. So the paint scheme, it's gonna be white. Everything in the cockpit is gonna be white. So you see the hull, it's already painted blue. 
that's the snorkel sea and we'll make all the vertical surfaces blue on the outside here so these cabin sides will be blue as well but the deck will be white. I'm not sure about the uh, cockpit combing sides. I'll have to figure that out, but I'm just doing that again right now, so it doesn't matter. But the vertical bits in here will all be white. So white everywhere in the cuddy and in the cockpit, outside, white on the decks and the cabin top, and uh, snorkel sea color on these uh, cabin sides. And uh, maybe on the front, yes, probably on the front as well. Uh, I have to see. To see what looks good. Oh, and we also have the rudder that's going to be painted over there. So that'll just be all blue because it'll go on the outside with the uh, hull here. I'm also in the process of marking the waterline, which I'll do probably after this or when I can be bothered. And uh, it'll just be a white stripe along there, I think. Just maybe five, ten centimeters above the waterline, just to give me a reference for trim and things like that. Ready for painting now. That's all the undercoat done. I've done two coats of the primer. Looks good. Looks so good. Oh man, what an ordeal though. Getting up in the uh, cuddy here is a huge pain. I sort of lie on my back and shove an arm through the holes and just try and paint as much as I could. And uh, getting up under the cockpit comb is also a bit of a pain. I got this mirror and uh, put it underneath so I could uh, kind of see what I was doing, but it was still a huge pain. I had to make a tiny little roller to get up under there, and it's not perfect, but you know, there's lots of epoxy and stuff there as well, so not the end of the world. But yeah, that's how she looks with the undercoat on. Probably looks pretty good in the camera. You can see that it's just undercoat in the person, you know, it's not perfect, but you know, it doesn't have to be. It's so fucking sexy now. Oh, I'm just like. I'm stoked. This has been such a long time coming, I can't even believe it. Okay, so what happens next? I've got the actual paint over there somewhere. I'll put the first coat of that on tomorrow. I'll do two coats of that as well. So there's two coats of primer, two coats of over coat, whatever it's called. After I've put the first coat of paint on the cockpit sole and also the uh, side deck here, basically places where you're gonna stand, I will gently sprinkle some sand on it and uh, let that all dry and sweep off the excess sand, vacuum it up, and then the final coat will go over that. So it'll create a nice uh, non-stick surface. Anyway, I'm just super excited that, you know, I've got some symbols of paint and it's just really all coming together. Like, I'm very emotional right now. Three years of my life. My goodness. Anywho, it's time for dinner. Peace.